Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I keep a lot of fish, a lot of you guys know that. I've got uh, over 30 different types of fish in my 30, 29 aquariums or whatever. And even though I keep so many different types of fish, the ones that everyone asks about are the mudskippers. Now it doesn't matter if I am at a fish conference or convention or show somewhere, or if I'm talking to another YouTuber, or I'm just at some random place and run into someone that watches my channel. They always ask me about the mudskippers. They don't ask about the Oscars, they don't ask about my discus or goldfish or African cichlids. It is always the mudskippers. So because a lot of you have questions about them or because a lot of you like to see them, I thought I would just kind of film them and uh, just let you enjoy them without me like walking around vlogging or talking or anything like that. So we're gonna look at some footage of the mudskippers. My Africans we'll start with and then we'll look at the Indians and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this footage that I filmed for you.
Hopefully you guys like that footage of the Mudskippers. Um, they are a lot of fun, tons of personality. I really do enjoy them. Now let's read some comments from a couple of the recent videos that I uh, uploaded. Um, the first question um, is from Josh, just Josh. And uh, the question is, uh, congrats on the new fish, buddy. Uh, question, I currently have two Jack Dempsey's with Mbuna in a 75 gallon with an FX6 and a 306 as filters. So those are two canister filters, one large and one small or medium small. I'm considering getting rid of the cichlids and getting two Oscars to go with the Jack Dempsey's. I would be upgrading to a 125 with that combo and tank size work. Uh, hopefully you reply and thanks for the knowledge. So Josh, um, if you're thinking about getting rid of the Ambuna and keeping the Jack Dempsey's and getting some Oscars, yes, they would work together. Um, however, if you're getting a couple of Oscars and you already have the Jack Dempsey's, um, I would make sure that your Oscars aren't too small because the Jack Dempsey's might be a little bit tougher than your Oscars. Um, the other thing that I would do is I would get the 125 and uh, set that up before I got the Oscars rather than putting them all in the 75. Um, that way you just have a little bit more space for the Oscars and the Jack Dempsey's to kind of have their own area. And also if you get the 125, then you could put the Oscars in the 125 and then add the Jack Dempsey's and there'll be less territorial issues. So that would be my advice. And the next uh, comment I'm going to read has to do with that video that I made with the uh, Betta in a water bottle. Now obviously I was joking when I made that video, although I was very serious about the topic, I was kind of joking about putting a Betta in a water bottle, which hopefully you guys caught that. But, um, Daniel White wrote, nice trolling. I came so close to unsubbing and disliking, and I'm glad you didn't, so thanks for sticking around. See, sometimes when you watch my videos, you gotta stay through to make sure I'm not like, you know, being stupid about something. Uh, anyway, uh, he goes on to say, I'm glad I held in there long enough, haha. -ha. Mine is in a 20 long, and he loves cruising around the entire tank exploring. So yes, a lot of people commented on that video. A lot of people commented and spoke about how they keep their bettas in larger aquariums. So three gallons, five gallons, 10 gallons, 20 gallons, etc., and that they don't keep them in the little containers or little small jars or whatever, the way that they come when you get them at the store. So I'm very happy to hear that because yes, we do need to be taking care of our betta fish, just like, uh, there's one back there behind me you probably can't see, but he's got a like, you know, nice little planet tank and everything like that. So anyway, that is all I have. Um, oh, I do want to mention, I do want to thank my Patreon supporters. So if you uh, would like to support my channel, because I currently am not doing memberships on YouTube, but if you do want to support my channel and often be recognized on this channel, then you can go down below to the Patreon link and you can support me that way. You can also go to my website and buy a It Does All It Takes t-shirt and that also supports me. So a uh, thank you to John, to Jessica, to uh, Carrie and um, Graham uh, for uh, being Patreon supporters. I appreciate all of you. Thank you to Extreme Aquatic Foods as well for being my food sponsor and thanks to Aquarium Co-op for being my channel supporter. Anyway, that's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this video. Catch you on the next one.